Yeah, yeah. Got the detail on deck. You already know where you at. Tune in to the doctor's office. Good morning. Today we're gonna talk about staying ahead of the game. Do you think you're ahead of your game? Are you already prepped for the plays that you got coming ahead? Are you already ready for the goals that you got set for your future? I'm talking about are you ready right now? Don't get ready then and get ready right now. Are you ready right now? If you ain't ready right now, I'm about to give you a couple tips and tricks for you to get ready. Hold on, let me get these push-ups in real quick. Staying ahead of the game is very important. And the reason being is because you want to already be ready when you get to where you're going. You see what I'm saying? Like for example, let's say you got to be at work at eight o'clock in the morning. It take you 20 minutes travel time to get to work. We gonna say 25 to 30 depending on traffic because you got to leave in the morning. So let's just say 30 minutes to be on the safe side. You got to be at work at 8 a.m. So that means you need to leave out the house at least by 7.28. A little couple minutes you need to walk to the car, get the car started. Fuck it, 7.25, excuse me, 7.25. All right, so, but prior to you leaving the house, you already know what you need at work, right? You need your uniform, you need your equipment, you need your tools, you need your paperwork, you need all that. So why not get up one hour earlier than you have to leave out the house. All right. This allows you to get your body in gear, to get your body all the way woke up, get your, get your gears grinding, get your mind right, get your mind all the way up. You got a whole hour before you got to leave out the house. Now you should have been and washed your ass before you went to bed, but if you didn't, take you a quick five, 10 minute shower, that leave you with 50 minutes to do your thing. Take you another 20 minutes before you even get dressed. Take you another 20 minutes. Make sure you got everything you need for school, I mean for work. So this is leaving you with 30 minutes left to get you, continue getting yourself together before you gotta leave work. Now fast forward, you at work, you took that extra time to get yourself together before you got to where you needed to be. Now just imagine how that would have been if you a motherfucker out there waking up 20 minutes earlier than what you gotta leave out the house. Come on, man. We gotta cut that out. Stay ahead of the game. Whatever plan that you got down for the day, for the next two days, for the next week, for the next month, the next six months, whatever, do what you gotta do to stay ahead of the game. Stay ahead of the game. Another example, if you a server, and you get tips every day, or if you're doing something, if you're in the field where you get cash every day, you get paid every day, don't wait until it's time to pay a bill or pay rent to go ahead and see what you got. Or, all right, I'm gonna take whatever I make today and pay the rent, pay the bills with that or whatever the case may be. Nah, if you got bread coming in every day, every other day, a few times a week, you get you an account. Oh, that's a whole nother video too. But you get you an account and you put that to the side. Every time you walk through the door, put that to the side. Put that to the side. What I do, I'm a mobile detailer, as you all know. So I get paid a few times throughout the week, if not every day throughout the week, Monday through Saturday anyway. So what I do, I put my bread to the side. I put my bread to the side. So before the month is even out, I already got my rent, bills, Everything that I need, my monthly expenses, before the entire month is even out, I say at least probably by the second, sometimes maybe the third week of the month, I already got my responsibility money put to the side. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking ahead. I already know that the first is coming. I already know that the 15th is coming. I already know that the 13th is coming, the 7th is coming. Them days when them bills and shit is due, I already know that it's coming. So I'm gonna go and put that up 
and stay ahead of the game because I got to have this roof over my head. Ain't no way around that. I got to cash them out. I got to keep these lights on. Ain't no way around that. I got to cash them. I mean, sometimes you can get you an extension, but before it's all said and done, you got to cash them out anyway. So you might as well stay ahead and get ready for that. So when that time comes, you already ready. Stay ahead of the game, y'all. Stay ahead of the game. Stay ahead of the game. Don't let the game get ahead of you. Don't let the head. Don't don't let the game get ahead of you. Cause once you let once you let your game get ahead of you, then you all over the place trying to get things back in order. Stay ahead of the game. Any plan that you got, it's already in your mind. You already got the vision in your mind. You already know the tools and, and, and the equipment and shit that you need. So go ahead and get this shit ready. Quit, don't play yourself. Go ahead and get it ready. Go ahead and get it ready. Ladies and gentlemen, if you got kids out there and you might not have a partner at the crib and you're doing it by yourself, or even if you do got a partner and you're not doing it by yourself, this helps for you too. You got kids, they got to be at school at daycare in the morning like mine. The earliest one that I got to drop off, like I told you, I got seven kids. The earliest one that I got to drop off is my teenager. She's 15. She in high school. Her bus come at 620 in the morning. Her bus come at 620 in the morning, all right? So the night before, a lot of times I have them ready for the week, except for her. Of course, she's old enough to get her own self together. But my little ones, though, I at least had them ready the night before, like right now. I'm out here doing my video. I'm out here doing my video. And they in the house getting themselves together. Because I had already had them laid out the night before. They in there getting themselves together. So about the time daddy done doing what he doing, getting his hour in, when I go in the crib, they going to be ready to ride. <laughs> they going to be ready to ride because I stay ahead of the game. Stay ahead of the game. So if you got kids... You know what time they gotta be at school. You know what time they gotta be on a bus stop. You know what time they gotta be at daycare. You know what time you gotta be at work. So don't wake up to the last minute, cause for one, you already know kids don't wanna get up and get ready in the morning anyway. So they gonna already be slow poking. So you got to put an extra 35, 40 minutes on your time anyway, just because of them. So the night before, get yourself together. You already know what time you gotta leave. You already know what time the kids gotta be where they gotta be. So the night before, just go ahead and set their outfits out. They got school uniforms, go ahead and iron their uniforms, iron their shirts, iron their pants, set their socks on top of the pants, on top of the shirt, get their drawers set out, get their book bag next to their outfit, their shoes next to their outfit, get all of that set up. Before you go to bed, go ahead, clean your crib up, your apartment, your house, your mansion, your, your condo, your wherever you live at, go ahead and clean that up. Get that together. Go ahead and get that together. So that way when you wake up, the only thing you gotta do is go ahead and get dressed and prep for the day. All right, do that. If you ain't been doing that, do that. Get it together the night before. Yeah. Get it together the night before. That's how you win. That's how you win. That's how you win. Stay ahead of the game. All right, you wanna win? Stay ahead of the game. Stay ahead of the game. Straight like that. All right. Uh, yeah, stay ahead of the game. Get ready beforehand. Get ready beforehand. And if you're really cold, if you're really cold with it, in the morning, when you get up, you already ready for the day, go ahead and get prepped for the next day before you even leave at the house. If you really want to be a beast with it, if you really want to win, yeah, go ahead and get ready for the next two days, the next three days for the entire week. Stay ahead of the game. Do not let the game get ahead of you. And what I mean by the game, whatever your game is, whatever you got going on, whatever you're doing, whether you're working a nine to five, double shifts every day, even if you out on the, on the block grinding, even if you're grinding in the streets, stay ahead of your game. Make sure you got heli baggies. Make sure you got heli batteries for your, for your bitch. <laughs> you feel me? Make sure you got plenty of chargers for your phone. Stay ahead of the game. You gotta stay ahead of the game, man. That's how you win, staying ahead. 
I'm going to keep saying it. Stay ahead of the game. Don't let the game get ahead of you. Because once that game get ahead of you, sometimes it's kind of hard to pull it back, baby. See, sometimes you might even lose once that motherfucker get ahead of you. You increasing your chances of losing when you let the game get ahead of you. You know what I'm talking about. When you watch that basketball game, your favorite team is down by 15, 20. They might be some beasts, but they still don't increase their chances of losing their game. Stay ahead of your game. Don't let your game get ahead of you. Talk with Dr. Detail. Thanks for tuning in.